As we reported a couple weeks ago, the train track tunnel has some students frustrated. But Tim Barber has the story of how the noise is getting two students flat out angry and how the school is dealing with their complaint. Across the street from Lindner Hall lays the Rouge Carpet, a single-story brick house where Jack Morrissey Alex. and Alex Luxemburg live. Inside, Jack and his girlfriend are making lunch. With help from dog Lily, of course. While they cook, lights flicker over ripples in the pots. It sucks. I mean, I get woken up at 8 o'clock every morning by the sound of a jackhammer breaking through the earth. When we first talked to Alex, there was silence. The, the vibration is the, is the worst part. But then... It's a, it's a prime example right there. Last Monday, he had enough of the sound and students walking through the yard to get around the construction. I sent an email to Leo Lambert. Within an hour, President Lambert replied with Smith Jackson attached. Later that afternoon, Dean Jackson and Janelyn Patterson knocked on their door. On the front steps, Smith Jackson and Dean Patterson. It was great. I mean, they were very appreciative. They were very, it was great. Um, little surprised. They were a little surprised. The four discussed the idea to build a bridge to keep the students off the lawn. But that didn't solve the noise nuisance. So the deans gave the students the keys to this apartment across the street from the Acorn Inn. We all try to be responsive, but as soon as you become aware of something, and I don't care what it is with students, we just try not to let things fester too much. If there's a problem, there's a problem. I mean, I'm not going to move all my stuff over there and live there, but certainly going to, you know, if I want to sleep for a night and sleep past 9 o'clock without being woken up, then I'll probably use it. Alex and Jack say they plan on using the apartment primarily for studying, but the school is still providing beds if they change their minds. So Sam and Drew, just one day, two deans, a president, and a problem solved. All right, Tim Barber, thanks so much.